In an era marked by escalating great power competition, nations across the globe, from Europe to the Indo-Pacific to the Middle East, are at a critical juncture. Forced to re-evaluate their strategic alignments and boost military spending in response to the increasing threats from Russia and China, this period is described as the most dangerous in four decades by US Admiral John Aquilino, heralding an epoch-making shift in the global order. Countries such as Sweden and Japan are moving away from their long-standing policies to enhance their defense capabilities. With the International Institute for Strategic Studies noting a 9% rise in global defense spending last year, reaching a total of $2.2 trillion, the world is on edge. This surge in military investment is driven by a widespread perception of growing global danger, a sentiment shared by 84% of the global population. Joseph Schelzi of the Soufan Group highlights the increasing risk of high-intensity conflicts among major powers. Europe stands on the front lines of this new reality. The ongoing conflict in Ukraine, sparked by Russian aggression in 2022, has not only prolonged the fighting, but also raised the security concerns of neighboring countries. This has led the Baltic nations to strengthen their defenses and Sweden to abandon its two centuries of neutrality in favor of joining NATO, a move Swedish Prime Minister Ulf Kristersson describes as essential for protecting democracy and freedom. However, this militarization faces opposition. Phyllis Bennis from the Institute for Policy Studies calls for a reduction in military build-ups and the negotiation of arms reduction treaties to avoid the cycle of armament and conflict. The Indo-Pacific region mirrors this tension, primarily due to the strategic rivalry between the US and China, with concerns over a possible Chinese invasion of Taiwan prompting the US to solidify its alliances and military presence. The AUKUS Pact and strengthened ties with Japan, which is set to become the third largest military spender globally, highlight this strategy. Meanwhile, the Middle East is a tinderbox of escalating tensions, particularly between Tehran and Israel, pushing the region closer to a wider, potentially global conflict. The recent conflict between Israel and Hamas in Gaza has further complicated the situation, emphasizing the delicate balance of alliances and hostilities that threaten to trigger an even larger crisis. As the world stands on the precipice, there's a growing call for a strategic recalibration focusing on diplomatic engagement, conflict de-escalation and the creation of new security frameworks. This critical moment requires careful navigation to avoid the descent into a sprawling conflict, emphasizing the need for a collective effort towards peace and stability in a fragmented global landscape. To stay updated on the latest in breaking news, subscribe to Breaking Through News on the Newsbreak app or at breakingthrough.com.